You can save $3 off of your next PlayAsia purchase by clicking the link in the description below and entering the code KUBA. What's going on everybody, it's Kuba, and I'm back with some major information for Dragon Ball's Universe 2 and its DLC pack number 4. Now, throughout the past few days, we've been getting a lot of information for this DLC pack. For example, we got some scans of, you know, Vegito Blue and the confirmation of Fuzumasu. And then yesterday, Bandai US actually uploaded some scans of those characters in action. But today, there's actually a leak of what is potentially going to be in that DLC pack. So before I go any further, I just want to give a shout out to the homie Komodo, as well as Code Jokai and Jack Thorne. They are the ones that took the time to dig into the game to find out this information. So although Jack Thorne doesn't have a Twitter, I will have a link to Komodo and Code Jokai's Twitters in the description below. But with that being said, let's jump into the very first thing, which is Vegito Blue. Now, we've known about Vegito Blue being in Xenoverse 2 for months now. We knew that he was going to be in the game, and now we have a bit more information for him. So, in this leak, we see that he has two new super attacks. However, we do know that one of the super attacks is, I guess, a Super Saiyan Blue version of Super God Fist. And I'm, I don't know how I feel about this because it is just a reskin of the move. I mean, if it has like a different type of animation or something of the sort, then okay. But it's, honestly, it just looks like a reskin of Super God Fist. Not necessarily a bad thing because Super God Fist is a good move, but still, I mean, I would have preferred something a bit more unique, though I do understand why they're adding that move specifically because I guess they're deeming that that final strike that Vegito Blue did on uh, Fuse Masu before they defused. So I understand why it's in there, though I kind of personally would have liked to have seen them make it a bit more unique or just like a different type of move all around. But nonetheless, they're getting a Super Saiyan Blue version of Super God Fist. And of course, we did get this ultimate attack confirmed yesterday that Vegito Blue will have Spirit Stab. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, and I will be ultimately surprised if you don't, this is the spirit sword move that he used on Fuse Masu when he was knocked into the ground. So, I'm happy that he has this move. It makes complete sense, but there is one thing that's bothering me. If he does have Spirit Stab as an ult, then his other ult should be Final Kamehameha. There's, there's no possible way that you could not give him that ultimate attack when in Dragon Ball Super, that was... I guess the canon iteration of that attack because it originated in the games but they made it official in the anime so it's cool that he has spirit stab because i guess it's a brand new ult just a new type of spirit sword but if he doesn't have final kamehameha it feels kind of incomplete so again cool ultimate attack but still i'm more so worried about final kamehameha being in his moveset and then also we do see that he has his own type of aura, you know, the Super Saiyan Blue aura with voice effects. And apparently he's supposed to be a brand new unique character. So that's another reason why he's more than likely not going to be like a variation of Vegito because of the fact that he's going to play uniquely. So that's going to be exciting. Me personally, like I'm back and forth with like regular Vegito's fighting style so it would be kind of cool to have like a different type of play style with Vegito Blue personally I hope one of his finishers is I guess that small three hit combo that he did on Fuse Masu before he fired the final Kamehameha I think that would be a cool finisher for like a triangle combo or maybe just the regular like square basic combo who knows but all in all, that's what we got for Vegito Blue. He's looking nice and I can't wait to use him. And now let's move on to Fuse Masu. Although in this leak, it shows Fusion's Masu. We'll find out the official name when the DLC launches. But anyways, we got some confirmation of these yesterday, these moves anyway. But um, going to a super attacks, he has Blades of Judgment and Lightning of Absolution. Though yesterday we did get confirmation of Lightning of Absolution being a move in the game. Now, 
this seems to be like a zone slash space move because obviously like you're going to fire it off from a distance and lightning is going to flow everywhere i don't know if it homes onto the opponent or if it kind of like just trails all over the place until it strikes something although i'm fairly certain that they're going to tail it to the point where you are more than likely going to hit your opponent but i digress still we have already seen a glimpse of what lightning of absolution can do but we haven't seen what blades of judgment can do yet so we can only wait and see how this move will play out although if they do like drop like a screenshot of the move or if we're lucky enough to get like a small clip of gameplay then that would be phenomenal but as of right now we don't know how blades of judgment will work but we have seen lightning absolution and that's good in its own right and of course his ultimate attack is none other than holy wrath we all know how this is going to play out i was talking about this on twitter though yesterday now the thing is holy wrath seems like it's going to be a powerful move but the thing that i'm worried about is it might be a slow attack and that's something that i'm worried about because in the game there are some ults that you're able to utilize without necessarily having to break your opponent's stamina and the only i guess giant like spherical energy ball ult that is the fastest is supernova cooler and that move in its entirety isn't all that fast it's fast enough but it's not really a fast move compared to let's say kamehameha or who knows like but all in all i hope that this move is good it seems like it will be strong i just hope that it's not slow because of course the slower the ult the lower the viability if you guys see so um yeah all in all three new moves can't wait to get my hands on them and of course we do got you know his aura etc etc apparently his aura is supposed to change and people thought that that was going to be i guess like the corrupted zamasu variation but if you guys saw the screenshots yesterday and i think that they um also posted a bit more today but we know that he actually does get you know corrupted by the darkness and all that stuff and he has like that dark aura coming out of him when you get corrupted by that influence so i'm thinking that's what that second aura is because fuse masu's aura is supposed to just be white so i don't think that we're going to get i guess corrupted zamasu if we did that would be awesome but right now it seems that fuse masu is the only iteration of the fused form that we're going to get of zamasu so i'm not complaining because he's still in the game that's good enough for me now we get in to the best parts about this information now this has been widespread people have been going all over the place trying to figure out the answer to this question are we going to get rage trunks in xenoverse 2 now again bane i released some screenshots yesterday and we saw like the beginning scene of when future trunk super would transform into rage trunks you know he has he's all kneeled down he has his arm on the ground you know probably about to vent out his frustration and just burst out all that power and today they actually released another screenshot with i guess the follow-up to that with him you know first starting off as super saiyan and then you guys know that afterwards he builds up more power and then turns into rage trunks well thanks to this leak we got confirmation that super saiyan rage trunks will in fact be in dragon ball xenoverse 2 now they managed to find out his ultimate attack which is going to be or i guess what is rumored to be final hope or final hope slash which we all know is like the final i guess like sword attack that he did on fuse masu before he chopped him in half and that was the end of that but below that ultimate attack we see a new awakening which is super saiyan hikari which is super saiyan rage so oh my god bro like i had a hunch that this was going to happen there is no way in the world you can promote the goku black arc or i guess officially the future trunks arc and not have super saiyan rage as a transformation that makes no sense so i'm so happy that super saiyan rage is going to be in the game i know a lot of fans are going to be happy that super saiyan rage is in the game and holy crap like i just i want to see how he looks i want to see how he plays like well okay correction i do know like he's going to play like regular trunks because he's going to be a variation of trunk super so it's much like goku 
and Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken or hit with him, you know, him being in his awoken state with pure progress and all that stuff. So I, I can't wait to try this out, man. This is going to be so freaking awesome. Like we get a new ult and a new transformation. Super Saiyan Rage for future trunks, man. I can't wait to get my hands on this DLC. It's going to be so, so much fire. And of course, we do have some additional notes. All this is to be expected. Uh, first thing being that Zamasu is going to be a mentor. We all predicted this because all of his moves are not even available for our created character. So we will be able to learn Instant Severance, God Splitter, and Heavenly Arrow. We do have more confirmation also, aside from this leak, that you will be able to learn Mer- or not Merged. I have to get used to not saying that. Few Zamasu's moves, such as um, Lightning of Absolution and Holy Wrath. And then we also know that, of course, there's going to be a new story mode chapter focusing on the Goku Black arc, and we're going to get some new parallel quests. So all in all, that's all that we got from this leak. Again, special shout out to Komodo, Kojokai, and Jack Thorne. They went in with this information, and especially out of all this, Rage Trunks, bruh, Rage Trunks trunks let me know how you guys feel about that in the comment section below but with that being said that's going to be the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it of course if you did please like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to my channal also don't forget to follow me on twitter at endokubayt and if you want to stay updated for all the videos i upload don't forget to ring my bell as always thanks for watching see you guys later